गुड मॉर्निंग गाइज एंड आर टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज ऑल अबाउट नेचुरल रिसोर्स दिस आर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक ऑफ द डे लेट स्टार्ट वट आर द नेचुरल रिसोर्स फर्स्ट विल डिस्कस द डेफिनेशन ऑफ इट वॉट द नेचुरल रिसोर्स आर सो नेचुरल रिसोर्स कैन बी डिफाइन एज द रिसोर्स दैट एग्जिस्ट ऑन द प्लानट ओके विच प्लानट प्लानट अर्थ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट ओके एंड रिसोर्स दैट एग्जिस्ट इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ ह्यूमन एक्शंस ओके these are the resources that are found in the environment and are developed without the in- intervention of humans common example of natural resources include air sunlight water soil stone plants animals fossil fuels these all are the things which we get from the nature and that also free of cost we are not paying as a human being we are not paying anything for it okay when they are available in the nature okay so this is what we call it natural resources the things which we get free of cost from the nature okay without paying any cost that is known as called your natural resources okay let's see what further it says over here it says natural resources are naturally occurring material that are useful to man and could be useful under conceivable technology kal economic or social circumstances or supplies drawn from the earth supplies such as food building and cloth material fertilizers material uh, sorry metals water uh, geothermal powers uh, for a long time natural resources were the domain of the natural science okay now what are the types of natural resources that we will discuss okay now we are going to talk about the different types of natural resources so based on the availability now you need to remember this word here availability okay i am talking about the based on the availability natural resources can be divided into the two types over here okay that is one is renewable resources and another one is non renewable resources okay and we have the other subdivision also that we will read further okay like biotic and abiotic natural resources etc but first we are discussing the natural resources based on the availability and its types okay so how we can categorize we can categorize them as a renewable and non renewable let's see what these are so first we'll talk about renewable resources so renewable resources that are available in infinite quantity okay infinite quantity okay and can be used repeatedly here infinite quantity means they are in a huge number and they can be used repeatedly are called natural are called renewable resources okay example of renewable resources are like your forest wind water etc okay and the second one is our non renewable resources so non renewable resources that are limited they are limited in abundance due to their non renewable nature and th- whose availability may run out in the future okay and this may finish in the future availability run out means they may finish in the future are called non renewable resources okay example of that is fossil fuel minerals etc like petrol is one of the good example of your non renewable resources okay that petrol may get finished one day right now here we quickly have a look at the, what is the difference between the renewable and non renewable resources so renewable resources the first difference is here it says that uh, it can be renewable resources can be renewed as it is uh, available in infinite quantity okay and non renewable resources once completely cons- consumed it cannot be renewed okay once you have used it you cannot bring that back right and the second renewable resources is uh, sustainable in nature and they are exhaustible in nature okay the third one is uh, the low cost and environment friendly renewable resources are low cost environment friendly and non renewable they are high cost and less environment friendly okay like i already gave you the example of petrol right petrol is known as called a liquid gold also high cost and it is less environment fr- friendly also and the fourth one is uh, replenish quickly okay no, renewable resources they replenish means they disappear quickly and non renewable resources replenish slowly or do not replenish naturally at all okay now next the most important natural resources are which are the important natural resources the first we have our air second water soil iron and your forest okay these all are what these all are your important natural resources the forest will be your fifth one that we are going to discuss in this only okay so let's see one by one first we'll talk about the air the air is clean air is an import is important for all plants animals humans to survive on this planet so it is necessary to take measures to reduce air pollution a uh, water that is a 70% of earth is covered with covered in water and only 2% of water is fresh water initiative is a, initiative to educate and regulate uh, the use of water should be taken okay now 70% of earth is covered with water but still guys see here this is very most important thing here only 2% water is potable water or drinkable water 
okay even in the coastal areas i myself have personally experienced right that uh, there is availability of water but that is saline water we cannot drink that the people are suffering from the water crisis over there also right uh, next we have the soil the soil is composed of the various particulars and nutrients it helps plants grow iron uh, it is made up of silica and it is used to build strong weapons weapons transportation and buildings and you know what are the uses of iron our fifth natural resource here is forest as the population increases the demand for the housing and construction projects also increases forest provide clean air and preserve the ecology of the world okay so now as the population is increasing people are cutting the natural forest and instead of that what is coming up is concrete jungles right multi storied buildings and now guys here we are going in the more depth of the topic of natural resources of india here it says the resources now it can be classified okay as what how we classified we can classify as biotic and abiotic as i told you okay and this is the this is this classification has been done on the basis of their origin that you need to remember the the indian landmass contains a multitude of both types of resources and its economy especially in the rural areas okay is it is heavily dependent on the consumption of or export so especially in the rural areas means the village areas where people are mostly depend on natural resources okay now due to the over consumption they are rapidly being depleted okay means they are getting finished very fast let's see here what is saying further the total cultivable area in india is 1945355 km square okay this is what the area of total cultivable land okay and 56.78% is total your land area okay uh, which is shrinking due to the population pressure and rapid urbanization india has total water surface area of around 360400 km square okay this is the total water surface area of india guys you need to see that again properly total water surface is this much okay so you need to remember that further it says india's major mineral resources include your coal that is the fourth largest reserve in, in in the world okay coal okay india is the fourth largest reserve in the world okay next is iron ore and magnesium ore okay so for iron and magnesium india is at the seventh largest reserve in the world for mica box and bauxite india is at the fifth largest reserve in the world okay let's see what it says further it says that uh, chromite natural gas diamonds limestone and thorium okay these are the other kind of minerals which are available in india uh, next point is says that uh, india's oil reserves found in bombay high off the coast of maharashtra gujarat rajasthan and in eastern assam okay it meets about 25% of country's demand okay at national level agency a national level agency that is known as called your national natural resource management system okay that is in short it is known as called nnrmc okay this one was established in 1983 so when was the national natural resource management was system was established that was in 1983 all right guys uh, was established in 1983 for integrated natural resource management in the country it is supported by planning commission of india and department of space okay guys now we are discussing about the biotic resources okay now what is biotic resources are let's see ahead biotic resources are obtained from living and organic material these include forest products wildlife crops and other living organism most of these resources are renewable because they can be gen regenerated by themselves fossil fuels are considered as biotic because they are formed and decayed organic matters fossil fuels uh, fossil fuels are non renewable population if you look at the population here so india is the second most populated country after china and india will take over china to become number 1 in the population by year 2027 okay by which year by 2027 okay next we have forestry what it says india's land area includes regions with the high rainfall to dry deserts coastline to mountain regions around 24.02% of total geographical area consists of forest due to variations in climatic conditions and differences in altitude different types of forest are present in india including tropical swamp okay now let, let's see what kind of this is tropical swamp mangrove alpine okay the forest are the main sources of your firewood okay 
and the other means was a firewood paper spices drugs herbs gums etc okay next fishing is also one of the natural resources of india it says fishing in india is a major industry empowering 145 million people are involved in this task india ranks second in aquic in aquaculture and third in fishery production okay fishery contributes to around 1.0% of the total gdp of india india has a long history in fishing and aquaculture it has rich feeders and inland silicon resources and uh, and around 7516 7516.6 km long coastline okay this is the length of our coastline inland fishery is carried out in rivers resources and lakes okay so these are the small water bodies where this is carried out in indian rivers more than 400 species okay more than 400 species of the fishes uh, fish are found and many of which are are economically important okay if you look at the some of the famous names of this fish uh, varieties so we have shrimp sardines uh, mackerels carangid crookers and other varieties are available major fish species are available are crab catfish mural and weed fish okay these all are important fish varieties of india india is one of the major fish producer okay around 9 lakh tons of marine products was exported every year okay till now what was around 9 lakh a ton of fish product is india is exporting another important natural resource is our coal the coal mining in india started in 1774 through the east india company in uh, raniganj coal field okay along with the western bank of damodar river in the indian state of west bengal growth of the indian coal mining started when steam locomotives were introduced in 1853 Repro uh, sorry production increased to million tons production reached 30 million tons in almost in 1946 after independence the national coal development corporation okay ncdcc okay was set up uh, in uh, set up and colorized were owned by the railways okay uh, this all coal trees were owned by coal trees means where they take out the coal coal mines are called that so they were owned by railways indian consume india consumes coal mainly for the power sector okay mainly for what purpose it is used in india coal that is for power sector and other industries like cement fertilizers chemical paper Uh, paper etc okay this is what it is used for okay our next natural resource is of oil we are going to talk about so india had about 100 million metric ton of proven oil reserves as of april 7 1978 okay 1 billion barrels as per eim estimated for 2020 which is the second largest amount in the asia pacific region behind china most of the india's crude oil reserves are located where in the western coast that is in mumbai high and in the southern eastern parts of the country although considerable undeveloped reserves are also located in the offshore bay of bengal and in the state of rajasthan the combination of rising oil consumption and fairly unwavering production levels leaves india highly dependent on imports to meet its consumption need india's state owned oil and natural gas corporation that is also known as called your ongc i'm sure you must have heard about this name called ongc right so what is ongc is this is oil and natural gas corporation is the largest oil company in the india okay so which is the largest oil company in india that is ongc ongc is the leading sport in india's uh, downstream sector accounting for roughly 1% of the country's oil output during 2023 as per indian government estimates as a net importer of all oil the indian government has introduced policies aimed at growing domestic oil production and oil explore exploration activities as the part of the effort the ministry of petroleum and natural gas okay that is mpng crafted the new exploration licenses policy and elp okay a new exploration license policy nelp in 20, 2000 which permits foreign companies to hold 100% equity position in oil and natural gas pro projects however the uh, however to date only a handful of oil fields are controlled by foreign firms india's downstream sector is also dominated by state owned entities uh, though private companies have enlarged their market share in the past recent years
Okay, guys, the next we have abiotic resources. Okay, so now we are going to discuss here is about abiotic resources. Abiotic resources are obtained from non living and non organic material. This you need to remember they are obtained from non living and non organic material. Some of these uh, resources, like water and air, are renewable. Okay, other resources like uh, minerals are non renewable and exhaustible because they cannot be regenerated. Minerals have many categories like metallic, non metallic, and minor minerals. Now we talk about metallic minerals one by one here, we will discuss them. So let's see further. It says uh, metallic minerals. Metallic minerals are the mineral which contain one or more metallic elements. They occur in rare naturally formed concentrations known as mineral deposits. Metallic minerals available from India are gold, zinc, iron ore, magnesium ore, gold, bauxite, silver, lead, tin, copper and chromite. Okay, These are the main metallic minerals which are available in India. Next we have gold. Okay, This is also known as called uh, one of the precious metal. Okay, Let's see as the as per United States uh, survey uh, United States Geological Survey USGS Mineral Resources Program India's gold production was about 1800 kilogram that is 1800 total reserves of gold ore are estimated to 22.4 million tons 22.4 million tons uh, and 116.5 tons of metal India have only 0.75% of the total world gold production. Okay, Only how much? 075 of the world. If we compare it at the world level, so we have nothing almost. Okay guys, the so next natural resource of our country is copper. So copper has been used since ancient time. Details of copper minings are, and metallurgy are available in ancient works like Earth Sastra. Uh, copper is mainly used in industrial application, electrical or electronic equipment and consumer product such as utensils. Major resources of copper are available at Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh and Jharkhand. As of 2015, India has the world's largest copper reserves beating Russia. Okay, So after Russia, see India has the largest uh, copper reserve. Okay, Previously it was Russia but now it is having, India is having that. However, uh, however, as of 2019, China has the highest copper reserve. If you look at the uh, data which has been changed in 2019, China has the highest copper reserve. It is called Mihid, okay, M I H I D, okay, and has about uh, 10,000 workers to this day. Uh, India is one of the 20 major copper producers. Hindustan Copper Limited, okay, is a public sector company. is the only producer of primary refined copper. Okay, post pillar method and the blast hole stopping method are used for mining. Okay, which method are post pillar method and blast hole stopping method? Some of the domestic demand is met through scarp recycling. In India, copper scrap is recycled to make four wheeled cycles. Okay, this is what it is used for, which is a, a hazardous means a dangerous process. Further, it says the copper is used with uh, several alloys such as. Uh, with iron and nickel to make stillness steel, with tin it is used to make bronze and with zinc it is used to make brass. Okay, next we have magnesium. So magnesium is used in the manufacture of steel, uh, paint, glass, bleaching powder, dry cell batteries and also present in the certain enzymes of the human body. Okay, it is used for the number of alloy number of alloys it is important for several biological processes even and essential for the plant growth it is also responsible for human immune system and necessary for the bone, bone development magnesium is necessary for the manufacture of steel as it is preventing rusting and is also in the high demand in india thus it is an important contributor to the indian economy okay and mostly the magnesium is found in uh, Karnataka, Madhya Pradesh and Maharashtra. These three states, okay, Karnataka, Madhya Pradesh and Maharashtra. Okay, the next important natural resource we have is the zinc. So zinc is a bl uh, bluish white lustrous uh, di diamagnetic metal. It is also a fair conductor of electricity. Reference to medicinal uses of zinc are present in, uh, in Charka, Samhita, Ancient zinc smelting techniques was found at zinc production site in Jawar. 
Jawar mines. This is uh, in Rajasthan. Further, it says that from where we recovered the zinc, so it is recovered from the different uh, zinc ores. The type of zinc ores include uh, uh, sulfide, carbonate, silicate, and oxide. Okay, it is used in uh, corrosive resistant coating uh, for iron and steel, and in the automotive electrical machinery um, uh, industries. Okay, India is the fourth largest zinc reserve. Okay, which position at the fourth largest zinc reserve? as in 2015 okay hindustan zinc limited is the main producer of zinc in india most of the resources are available in rajasthan okay especially the jawar mine is famous for that a minor amount of resources are available in andhra pradesh madhya pradesh bihar maharashtra okay guys next we have iron ore so india is the world's third biggest which third biggest okay third biggest exporter of iron ore okay as of uh, 2015 india had 27 billion tons of resources okay including hematite and magnetite the major amount of hematite is found in orissa jharkhand chatisgarh karnataka and goa the minor amounts of hematites are also found in your andhra pradesh assam bihar maharashtra madhya pradesh meghalaya rajasthan and uttar pradesh most magnetite is found in karnataka andhra pradesh rajasthan and tamil nadu okay karnataka andhra pradesh rajasthan and Tamilnadu. Minor amount of magnetite are found in Assam, Bihar, Goa, Jharkhand, Kerala, Maharashtra, Meghalaya, and Nagaland. Mining is uh, uh, done by the open cast method. Okay, iron ore is uh, mainly used for manufacturing of uh, uh, pig iron, sponge iron, and steel. It is also used in coal washeries, cement, and glass industries. public sector companies like national mineral development corporation and steel authority of india uh, contribute to 25% of total production okay. private companies including tata steels provide the major contribution in this field okay our next uh, natural resource is chromite the chromite is an oxide of uh, chromium and iron it is the only commercial source of chromium as of 2010 India had 200 million tons of resources major amount of resources are available from your orissa katak and jaipur district in rajasthan uh, minor amount of uh, resources are available in manipur nagaland karnataka jharkhand maharashtra tamil nadu and andhra pradesh in 2009 and 10 india produced around 3.41 million tons and ranked second in world production it is mostly mined by open cast method chromium provides additional strength to the alloys and it is resistant to corrosion uh, so it is mainly used in uh, metallurgical applications it can withstand sudden temperature means it can uh, hold or you know it can support at uh, sudden temperature changes so it is used to used in re refractory uh, it is also used in chemical application that is your chromite Okay, guys. Now the, this one with the last natural resource we are discussing about, okay, in this video, that is uh, marble. So marble is a metamorphous limestone formed by recrystallization. It is available in the different colors and textures. Marble deposits are available in the many states of India. It it has been used in India for long time. It was used in construction of temples, tombs, and palaces. The Taj Mahal is one of the best example of that. Now it is also used in, for the flooring and homes and offices. It is uh, preferred uh, for flooring uh, because of the, its durability and water resistance. Marbles, which are economically important, are available in Rajasthan, especially a place called Makrana over there. Okay. Gujarat, Haryana, Andhra Pradesh, and Madhya Pradesh are the other states. As of 2018, there was 1931 million tons of resources, including all grades of marble. Based on the chemical composition, types of marble available are uh, calcite, uh, do dolomites, uh, siliceous limestone, serpentine, and travertine marbles. Okay, these are all other varieties of marbles actually. Other than the construction, it is used in paint and agricultural lime. Okay, okay, guys. So now here I am stopping this video. Keep preparing and uh, for your exam. Further, whatever material resources you get, okay, keep going ahead with that. Best wishes ahead. All the best and have a nice day. Enjoy your time.